Esther and I brought the object um, to represent my life and it's actually my Bible. The reason why it's so thick is a study Bible and I know many of um, people today may think that it's odd to read the Bible but this actually has a huge impact on my personal life and I'm going to be sharing about how it's important to me, um, how it applies to me, what it means to me and how it also affects even my future. Um, all right, so this object is important to me because it defines um, what I believe in and um, how I am here today. Um, my dad is actually a pastor, but I did not grow up believing in um, this God that this very book talks about. I was actually very rebellious and I was very angry that I was born into a family where my own father was teaching and preaching the very things that I sometimes saw him even um, break. Um, I actually grew up very depressed, awkward, insecure, very um, lonely. I had friends, but I think there was just a sense of expectation that I felt like I had to always live up to um, religiously um, throughout my life. Uh, it was only in junior high that I actually um, started to find an outlet for the stress. It wasn't only um, in regards to the faith that my family was so strongly tied in in regards to Christianity, but it was um, in regards to being bullied when I was growing up, um, being super passive, passive aggressive, being uh, extremely introverted, and my outlet was actually music. It was singing. I loved to sing. It was um, a way to express my emotions um, uh, and the things that were going on inside of my heart. Um, fortunately, I was in high school. I was able to really break out of the shell um, that I put myself in. and. Um, Though I rebelled against my parents, I felt like I was free. I found purpose, and I was um, just day by day singing lyrics upon lyrics, stacks of stacks of papers each day, just to relieve this stress, relieve this anger, relieve this hurt and pain inside my heart. Um, unfortunately, what happened was, was the people around me, um, they started to fade away. I started to change in character, personality, and started to value um, myself more than I value the people around me. It was in the middle of high school that I actually became suicidal. I found what I really wanted to do and pursue, but I lost everything that really mattered, which was family, friends. Um, relationally, I was very broken. Um, it was only then that I lost everything that I sought the only thing that I had left in my life that I was taught since I was a kid, which was that Jesus loved me, that God loved me, that I had a purpose. And um, it was a truth, it was a knowledge since I was little from the womb until I grew up, um, I believe I was 16 years old. But it was that very moment that I really cried out to this believer, uh, uh, to this creator, and um, he really answered me and he said, Esther, the plans that you have for yourself is only able to do so much in this world, but what I can do through your talents, through your passions, it can really change the world, one person's world at a time. And that's why this Bible um, represents just how God so graciously uh, redeemed my life. I was pretty much lost, broken, suicidal, um, ready to just give up everything. Um, um, I'll finish in one sentence. Um, the Bible is where I found my life, and it's actually where I desire to share my music with others, to share how God can also bring others' life.